Hey, it's Plain Decoded. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I want to hear what people think of what I'm doing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. It gets you into my Discord and will help me to upgrade to a new computer and to get better astrology software and make better videos. Thanks for everyone who is supporting. Before I get into the game, I want to just talk about my channel and what I'm doing. I'm using the rules of sports astrology to predict the outcome of the game, but more importantly, and what I'm better at, is doing scoring plays. I'll talk about both things here, but my focus is scoring plays, and I will give my opinion on the money line. Check with your bookie how to bet a scoring play. On Bet365, I hit a button called Instant, and then scroll down to Score, and hit that button and put in my bet. As the ball gets down the field closer to the end zone, the odds get worse, so it's all about timing. For the game today, the moon phase is first quarter and the moon is in Taurus. All the planets are direct, so nothing is retrograde. January 29th, 2023 at 3 p.m. local, the 49ers are at the Eagles, and the Eagles are favorites, minus 145 on the money line and minus 2.5 on the spread. All the times I show are local time. The first and the tenth house go to the favorite. So the first house can't be ruled by the moon, but the moon can't be used because it shows the flow of events. And the moon is in Taurus, ruled by Venus. So Venus is Lord 1. And then the 10th house goes to the favorite as well. And it has Pisces in it ruled by Jupiter. So Venus and Jupiter are for the favorite. For the underdog, the 7th house has Capricorn in it ruled by Saturn. And the 4th house has Virgo in it ruled by Mercury. So for the dog, Saturn and Mercury. Now these rules aren't always hitting. My scoring plays hit the most. I'll give my opinion on the money line. And I base that off the rules given in sports astrology. The moon is applying to square Saturn at two degrees in two minutes. And a square is 90 degrees. And here's the moon. And the red line going from the moon to Saturn is the, the square that I'm talking about. Neptune here is on the MC. And Neptune doesn't like the favorite. And the MC is the favorite. For the favorite, they did have a trine, but it's separating from the Antitia of Jupiter, which is Lord 10. But Lord 10, it, the Antitia of Lord 10 is on the IC. So there's two testimonies for the underdog and one for the favorite. Also, there's a little Mercury here, but I don't think that's much to consider. There is no dispositor of the part of fortune in this because, because Lord 1 is Venus and that would have been the dispositor of the part of fortune. One of the problems is, is that because the cancer is rising, it causes confusion, it has a dual role. It's Lord 1 technically, but it also controls the flow of the game. So the confidence on this outcome isn't that high for the money line. But based on the rules here, and if the houses are assigned correctly, I would say that the 49ers should win this game. And now more importantly are the drives and times. Okay, here's the scoring plays and the drives and times. The question marks are what I'm looking for them to hit. I'm not expecting them to. The check marks are the ones I expect to hit and the, the double checks and triple checks are ones I really like. It's hard to predict exactly what's going to happen, but I'm basing it on how many times it's come through in the past week and just performance I've seen of it overall. At 334, Lord 7 is conjunct the Antitia the Part of Fortune. I've seen that happen twice in the last week. At 354, the Part of Fortune is conjunct the South Node. I really like that. It's happened three times. Um, at 448, we got a question mark there. That one usually comes through, but I, it's been missing the past week. Uh, at five, the Antitia of the Part of Fortune is cussed the VSC. That usually hits in baseball a lot. At 504, in the Antitia of Lord 1, a Venus cussed the IC. I really like that. It keeps hitting. That's a really good time. And at 555, Lord 1, Venus squared the Part of Fortune. That's been hitting. Um, and then at 601, the Moon's trying to anticipate the Power of Fortune. That's a good one. But the question marks are because I haven't seen them happening lately. So my main play is this 504 time one and the double check mark one. I like the best as well. I will paste the text of my notes in the description. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully these scoring plays come through. And let's go 49ers. Have a great day.